What's going on guys, Mark here and I'm back with a brand new video. This video is going to be about NMAT again, but I'm gonna title this, How to Study for NMAT, for real this time. Now what makes this different from my previous video, which by the way I'll put here, is that this video is going to be directed towards me trying to give actual tips. Since my last video was actually just about my experience of NMAT, now this is going to be centered about practical things or maybe more applicable things that you can do to help you study for the NMAT. So hopefully this video sheds some light on how you can deal with NMAT. I think I said NMAT one too many times in this intro, so I'll just get right to it, I guess. So the very first tip I have to study for the NMAT is set a goal score. So according to Proactive Thinker from YouTube, setting goals will actually help you in achieving what you want because it gives you some sort of clarity. Having this goal in mind can help you stay motivated because the NMAT, I think, is still in October. And if you have this goal score in mind, even though it's August, you will still keep on studying. And in staying motivated, I think having an objective end goal in mind would really help because it won't be a shot in the dark. For example, if your goal was really to get a high score in NMAT, what is a high score for you? So I think having concrete end goals, for example, my goal score is 95. It's a very concrete way of saying if you reached your goal or not. If I got a 93, then it's pretty clear that I didn't reach it. So yes, as much as possible, try to keep the goals as concrete as possible. So my second tip is to study in short, consistent sessions. So according to John Dunlongsky, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So in the Strengthening the Student Toolbox, he mentions that distributed practice is an effective strategy in studying that can be achieved by studying in shorter sessions that helps distribute the overall load of information as well as help you keep this information for a longer period of time. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I'll put it right here again, I only study for an hour a day and I think it worked, I think, greatly or perfectly because those short sessions are really focused and I didn't really experience any burnout because I only study for an hour a day. So this is more of an opinion rather than basing it off of uh, John Dunlowski's paper. Having a consistent schedule helped me out because it got me into this flow state and hyped me up even more for the exam because slowly over time you build this amount of information and then in the end you test yourself. So the third step or the third tip I can give you guys is to take time to practice exams. And Matt is a timed exam. I forgot exactly how long each part is, but then having timed exams would help you simulate what it feels like to be under that much time pressure. And practice exams would actually help you in this point because according to the same author of the paper I mentioned a while ago, this manner of studying actually improves your performance and also helps you boost learning because you have to actively recall or actively retrieve the memory or piece of information that you need. So in this way, it actually helps you retain the information for a longer period of time. Indirectly, being unable to answer a question is a good signal that you have to restudy that part of the exam. So this is more of a sub point to the tips because I have other tips as well. So this video is really flourishing with content right now. So my first sub tip, it's not really a minor tip, is to start early. I've talked about it in my previous video and I think starting early is more advantageous because one, you don't have to cram anything. Two, it opens up the possibility of only studying an hour a day. And three, you can opt to do what I did, which I also explained in my previous video, which is to study first the text and then start with the practice exams. So the second tip I have for you guys is to know the parts of the exam. Now this would really help you because you would figure out on your own which part you need most work at. I'm not sure if that was grammatically correct, but, but I hope you guys get my point. For example, for me, I had the hardest time with physics and chem, and I know that it's a part of the exam. So I started studying both of those subjects instead. Number three, which is I think one of the more obvious parts is to start taking breaks. I know that NMAT is going to be really stressful. I think that studying while you're tired or you're burnt out would actually be more detrimental to retaining the information. So if you feel tired, take a day off, take two days off and then go back into the cycle again. So that ends the tips portion of this video for studying for NMAT. Now this is more of a pre-exam or during the NMAT itself. So my first minor tip is to bring an analog watch. They don't really allow digital watches because you know, you might be able to cheat out of that smart watch. An analog watch is better because most proctors allow 
analog watches but it's better to just play it safe and bring an analog watch to help you keep track of the time so my second tip goes out to my fellow easy poopers out there eat a light breakfast or just enough for you to sustain it till lunch and not feel the need to poop in the middle for me it ruins my whole flow when i have to poop in the middle of an exam so my last tip is to bring your own lunch unless you're one of the few lucky people who get to go outside of the class early maraming tao talaga dun sa exam center so what's good is to bring your own lunch and to eat save yourself from the stress of trying to find an empty restaurant and also an empty table so that pretty much ends this video i hope you guys found these tips useful now i do really suggest if you have any comments or any questions about nmat just comment them down below and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can i'm pretty fast when it comes to replying to my comments because you know not really famous and stuff and because I really do want to help you guys out, I linked a Google Drive down below. I've compiled all the reviewers I have, and pretty much all of these is free for all. So if you want, you can just download all of it and give it all to your friends. But you know, it's really cool if you send them the link to my video and then send them the link to the reviews because you know, your boy wants to get 200 subs. But yeah, thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And question for the day, I guess, is what undergrad course do you have right now? I'm actually pretty curious of what type of courses people have before taking the NMAT because I have heard that some people are BS Physics, Chem, some people even have Legal Management, I think. So yeah, thank you for watching again and see you guys at my next video.